create a property, go to Record My Data and click on the Properties tab. You can either locate your property on the map and enjoy auto-filling of data, or enter the details manually along with the description. Choose the amenities that your property offers and upload property images along with the documents. You can also assign a point of contact for the property. Once done, click on Submit and that's it. You are good to go. Okay, let's start with the basics. What is a unit? Unit is basically a room or a bed in a property. Under Properties, the next step is to add units. Now, imagine entering all your units manually to the system. Sounds overwhelming and time-consuming, isn't it? That's why we have our Bulk Upload option for you. To create Bulk Upload, go to Settings, then Import Wizard and click on Resident. Upload data via an Excel file or in CSV format. Fill in details that are relevant to your business. For example, floor number, status, tenant's name, contact details, etc. Here's a quick tip. Make sure your data fields align with the format showcased here to avoid any blooper. Take it easy. Even if you get some errors, the system will identify them. All you have to do is rectify and re-upload, and you are done. I'm sure you are with me on this. When we talk about property management, there are multiple people who come into the picture. Here's how you can create separate user profiles for tenants, staff, owners, etc. Let's start with an example. If you want to add a tenant to the system, all you need to do is to go to the Tenant tab under My Data and click on Add User. You'll then be redirected to the User Profile page. Fill in the mandatory details and define the role under Role and Access. Complete the documentation, if any, along with correct bank details. Once done, click on Submit. That was super easy, wasn't it? Similarly, you can upload bulk user data under Import Wizard and create multiple user profiles with ease. 